Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel, another 7 days to die video and we are back at the Mall of the Dead series and guess what day it is? It's Horde Day baby, day 14. I really hope the Horde actually shows up tonight. I'm going to be very unhappy and I may just go ahead and fill this place full of gas barrels and set the whole thing ablaze if no zombies show up in my party tonight. I'm about tired of them showing up here. Uh, let's see, didn't do too much last night. I scrapped down a bunch of crap that was in my chest that I had duplicates of so I could get a little bit more scrap iron here. I uh, made a couple repair kits because I need to repair my wrench. And my shovel's okay for the moment. I was going to do a little bit more on the getting ready for my mining thing going on today. But first, I want to head down, just do one last quick look through at the uh, the horde base. Let me down. Just to make sure everything is nice and kosher. It's going to be down right over there. So, okay, we cleared out the uh, escalators last time to make sure we're all good here. And let me see. Okay, so if they happen to come in from this direction, I want to glance real quick just to see if there's an easy way for them to get in. I think we have some doors, right? What? Where are you going? Is that a runner? Look like a football player. Let's see if we can't. Uh... What are you doing, man? Gotcha. You're not dead, but at least you're. What are you doing? Hey, where, where are you going? You're a special kind of stupid, aren't you? I better not say that while I'm, you're not actually dead. Okay, get my bolt back. All right, so we had a football player uh, doing a 10-yard drill over here inside the radio shack for whatever. Ooh, nice. All right, so we got some w awake over here. Say hey to Bam real quick. Alright, we got a couple people showing up. There's Rogers over there. We got two Jareds coming at us. We got Edgar sauntering over here as well. Now we're gonna have to just switch over to pistol. We got plenty of bullets. Uh, we got our junk turrets ready to go for tonight. We'll have a decent chunk of junk turret ammo. Okay, so what do y'all see something I don't what are you running from? Is it are you having difficulty getting around this dead body? <laughs> it's like a parade of idiots here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right well i wanted to say real quick you know huge gigantic thank you to everybody who's still sticking around for this series the last video episode 13 got a whole lot uh more support on it than like episode 12 did it was strange that that one particular video did so much better than some of the other ones and i'm absolutely cool with that that's fantastic i just wanted to say thank you for that we're on day 14. I know a lot of people really look forward to the hordes. I was hoping this stuff was going to refill. What is it we have here? Rod and spring mechanic? And then I'll, uh, I'll use it, but we can't do anything with that right at the moment. Come on, something I need. What do we have here? Do 10% more damage to bears. Well, that would have been useful a couple days ago, and we can learn to make the magnum. That's fantastic. Eh. I doubt we'll highly get to, or I doubt, highly doubt we'll get to making that. I didn't think anything spawned in over here, but I thought I would just double check just to make sure. Nothing here the first time. A lot of shells we could take apart in here. I'm not really worried about a lot of the loot that is spawning here right at the moment. I wanted to just get the books. The main reason I came down here is if some zombies managed to show up at this end of the mall, I was checking to make sure they did have a good easy way to get in. I mean, I did open a very large door for them over here, so some more. What is y'all's deal? Uh-uh. No. You're out of line, man. Okay, fine. Just do things your way. I hate to have to do it that way, but if you're going to run up at me like that, that's just not cool. Not cool at all. Okay, so again, as I was saying before I get rudely interrupted, I wanted to make sure that the idiots have an easy way to get to me to get at least into the mall. For some reason, last time nobody showed up. I have decided what I am going to do tonight is if for some reason the idiots can't seem to get inside the mall, which was a lot more interested than there was last time, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to free fly the camera and I'm going to go see if I can't figure out where they are. So at least I know in you know, for future reference and stuff where the hell they might actually be. Now I thought, no, 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 it's in the Shotgun Messiah. Okay, so that's where we need to go. That's where we're heading. That is the next thing we're trying to do. I was just trying to make sure that the bottom, if they do get inside the mall, they can figure out how to get to me. If it takes them a little while to get up there, that's fine. I'm, I'm okay with them being slow, but I just don't want them to take for freaking ever. Hey, it's Biker Dude. What's up, man? You suck. I was just down here yesterday. I can't believe y'all all spawned in again. 
See, that is the main reason why I didn't change the zombie spawn rates, just because they're already spawning a lot. Uh, there may have been one or two people that were unhappy with some of the setting changes I made. I didn't change the difficulty, despite what a couple people had thought. I didn't change the difficulty at all. And I didn't change the actual loot, or the uh, spawn rate for the zombies. What I did change was the size of the horde knot for the Blood Moon Horde. I just bumped it up to 32, nothing excessive. And I upgraded the loot respawn timer and the experience gain, just so this can be a viable possible option of a series, you know? You have to do what you gotta do to keep a series entertaining here, because, well, if you get boring, people don't want to watch it. Alright, somebody is going to get shot right in the butt talks. I'll scooch over a little bit further here. Oh, we're going for the tank shot. It's going to happen. Boop! Well, that viral video going around of what's, I wonder what's in my butthole that that little girl was singing, well, he knows the answer. All right, so we got we got a few zombies showing up over here. It's okay if we have a bunch of zombies inside the mall when the horde starts, because then we don't have to wait for them to show up. All right, well let's just see if we can't get to it here. Okay, we may have missed a couple times with the steer spear. We may not have. You didn't see anything. You don't know. Couple Sylvia's showing up over here with Roger. See if we can get him right in the face. I hit him in the shoulder. Better than nothing, I guess. What's up, girl? How you doing, man? I haven't actually feel like I've seen you in here in a little while. Y'all doing alright? Hey, 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 hey. No, no. Back up. Explosion! Gotta love a good blood fountain. Now we'll glance in some of these shops real quick, just A, to make sure that nobody uh, respawned in here that I haven't seen yet, and B, just to make sure, because I honestly, since it's been, you know, 13 days of looting, I don't remember every shop that had books in them, and of course being able to get as many books as possible would be great. Man, if I could accidentally stumble upon and find the gyrocopter uh, schematics of everything that I need for that, I would I would be okay with that. I wouldn't be unhappy with that find. I think it would be just fine. Alright, so I don't think there's anything up here. What are the odds any of this spawned in? Uh, uh no, a little, little further. Uh, there, okay, it's empty. I just want to see if that munitions box was empty. What are the odds when I get down here inside the Shotgun Messiah base that everything inside there is going to have respawn? I have to kill everything yet again. I mean, that's okay. It's free experience. But I, yeah, I mean, we got plenty of time, so as long as we don't freaking die, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Look, we got spikes along the windows. We walled off the other area entirely. I think I still have a chest full of crap over here that I'd technically need to probably do something with. I think I have some hand grenades. We'll definitely hang on to those. Block damage isn't too bad. I think, I think, I think that, uh... Something. I, I think some. There was something I was thinking. Oh, that I have some Molotovs at the house. I may or may not. Uh, both of those empty. Make sure they didn't have any paper. In. Okay, let's run down here real quick and see if there's any idiots that spawned in this direction. And just in case. Like I said, I don't mind if they... Ooh, the weapon's back down here. Maybe it respawned. Maybe it didn't. This changing up of how fast things respawn is kind of throwing off my... Uh, you know, my counts of what's been where. And uh, Okay, fine. I'll go around. My parkouring skills is not up to par today. And no, I didn't figure on that one. Just because it has been less than five days since the last time I was here. Alright, so when it's time to go, what we'll do is we'll nerd pull our way up top there. We'll take refuge, set Junkie up right here, point him off in this general direction, and hope everybody shows up. That's that's the goal real quick. Alright, I want to look real fast in here just to make sure there's nothing I do need. Uh, the AK is definitely nice. You see, this one's a little bit better. And I think, hang on, let me, uh, okay, so I have this junkie right here. That one's at 1164. This one's definitely better. It'd be okay if I could have more than one, but, okay, so both of these, I'm going to take this AK. I'm not sure if I have a 762 ammo at the house. If I do, having an extra AK would definitely be nice. Uh, let's see, I can scrap that and get some crap from it. This stone spear I don't really need, but, eh, let's see what we do have here. Uh, not much, not much. I'm gonna put the paper back in there, the leather. I don't need that. Painkillers. I'll probably take those tonight, just just in case. You know, I don't want to uh, need them and not have them. You know. 
All right, so we got one more repair kit, AK. We'll definitely hit up the house before we go. I thought I had them all. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, yeah, we do have the grenades. I'm going to put these down here so I can grab them beforehand. I'm just going to leave those right here. We should be good on those. I did want to double check. That one's uh, 25 and 60. That one's definitely much better than the one we have. All right, that was just a thing. I just want to check and make sure there wasn't anything here we did need or did not need. So we're, we're pretty much good to go. Uh, I'm gonna I'm not going to run down that side of the mall over there just in case everything did respawn. Um, I do want to go down here and work on our little bit of a mine system we got going there because... Well, I want to. We're close to leveling up again. Uh, let's see. I think I still have my... Yeah, I still have my nerdy glasses on here, which gives some intellect plus one, so that'd be good. So we got intellect as level four right at the moment. We do get one more here, so we can put it down. Uh, we'll be able to get the mini bike master, and then we'll be getting a little bit closer to getting down here. We still got a ways to go, of course, because we have to get up six more levels before we can even buy this one. So we're going to need a crap ton of points, but I'm hoping uh, that we don't break a leg. Easy now. Easy does it. Ha ha, we didn't die. Or we didn't break anything either, which would have been about par for the night so far. All right, so I have a few frames on me. I should probably make a few more just in case. I don't know how many I'm going to... Yeah, well, let's make one. That's what I was going to do. Stupid. All right, so that's not going to use too much wood to do that. But All right, so we're going to get down here. Do I have some ladders on me? I have nine. That's good enough to get started. And a hatch as well that I can cover up this a little bit. We're not going to do too much in the way of uh, mining stuff like that today because I'm, I want to keep this uh, to a normal length video, of course. And I know the Horde Knight will definitely take a little bit longer than normal. So uh, well, let's just get a little bit of cleared out here. We can start getting some frames down, get the basics of our mine set up. So uh, let's cue the cool music. some zombies right above me make sure we're fully loaded real quick just in case I got to make sure I'm ready here because I can hear them stomping around the grass outside they haven't quite figured it zombies don't like falling in holes so if I can keep them from well if I can keep them from falling in the hole that would just be great so you put you there there and there Oh, I thought I got one more in there. Okay. Oh, I can't put that one down. I can't put that one right there just because... Alright, we're going to have to do it like this. Just for now. Uh -uh. Alright, who do we have over here? Hey, it's Eddie! What are you doing over here, man? This is not your route. You're discharged, Sarge. Good to go. Alright, so we got one more point in there. So we can go ahead and put it into where we need to. Get, uh, let's see, go ahead and get Grease Monkey up one more. Now we can make the mini bike. Again, there's been the discussion on whether I should go ahead and make some of the bikes and I can put some ramps up the escalators. The downside is to being able to do that is when I get down to needing to be able to make the gyrocopter stuff. Um, because I can make the gyrocopter, but I, have to, I can make the accessories, which you need electrical parts, headlights, short iron pipe, mechanical parts, and springs, which you're going to need, holy crap. I need 75 short iron pipes, eight headlights. So, holy crap, it's going to take a while. So that's the thing is if I go through and make like the mini bike or the motorcycle or the 4x4, anything like that, I want to use a lot of these same parts. And then I'm going to get to the gyrocopter and be like, well, crap. Now I can't even freaking make this because I did something stupid. So in our little mine here, let me get the other ladder right, y'all. So we can get down here. We hit, we hit uh, iron down here, so we can technically dig that up. That's going to be great. I don't have any kind of actual, actual pickaxe with me. I know I can use the standard stone axe, but that's going to take for flipping ever. I just kind of wanted to get it started. So I'm not going to do a lot of mining stuff here. I just kind of want to get the, uh, get the layout of it here. So this is probably as far down as I'll dig straight down. This would be like the base of operations, and we can dig outwards. And, you know, get a platform underneath this. But, of course, there's a big vein going on here. So, if we survive the Horde Night tonight, which I have full confidence we will, then we'll continue doing mining here. And I can dig out a whole lot further. I'm just kind of clearing some space away as much as possible. Because uh, I don't know how much of this iron we're going to be able to get down here once we do finally clear it all away. So, we'll clear all the dirt off on top of it. Ooh, look at that. Nice big vein. That sounded a little bit wrong. 
Yeah, it did. No big deal. Okay, all right. So we're we're good on this little spot here. I can dig down a little bit further, and uh, this will make it pretty much a too high room that we can kind of walk in. It's wonky as hell, of course, just because the way it looks. <sighs> oh. Do y'all remember, I don't know if any of you've been around here, but there was a trick a long time ago in Seven Days to Die that you could like back up to a wall a little bit, kind of like at this, and you could angle like that. You could move the camera around a little bit and you could see through the ground. Back when we used to do underground bases, um, which were fantastic, and I missed those as an option. Climb, stupid. That um, That's what we could do. It was a little bit cheap, yeah, I'll admit. But it was nice that you could see where the zombies were they didn't have the camera mode available just yet let me see i think we need to go is it up over there no it's up over this way it'll run through the jungle and so you could kind of you know angle the camera back a little bit and you could kind of peek through the dirt and see where the zombies were it made some really cool visuals kind of like what i do now when i go into debug mode and i throw the camera around so you guys can see what's going on that's the way we used to do it before you could take control of the camera was you just kind of glitch your face into the wall it was pretty fantastic, if I do say so myself. This, our pistol, we definitely need to repair that. Um, it's getting a little bit low. It's going to be one of our main go-to weapons. I def oh, hey, I repaired it and it didn't unload it. That's friggin' shocking. So that's that's awesome. I just honestly expected it to completely be needed. Was there anything in there? Paper. I might as well grab that and get it out of it. And I know I can take apart a lot of this. This is... Uh, we're, I was about to say, where'd my wrench go? But it's right freaking next to the cursor. You can take apart a lot of this stuff, and you can get a lot of good pieces for it. You can get all this electrical um, interface equipment over here that's just for looks. I know you can get a bunch of like uh, mechanical parts for it and scrap iron there. The only reason I really haven't is just because it looks cool. And yeah, I realize function over um, aesthetics and stuff, but it, it looks pretty. If I get rid of it, then, well, it won't look like this anymore. So I can get rid of the stuff like this because I could use the extra pieces and stuff with it too and the TV that's over here those aren't actually going to do anything for me they're just kind of in the way as is but the control boxes did I get this? I did The con oh that's going to be just wood alright so we got some things for that for sure I know you could take these apart so let's go ahead and do that get them out of here Again, I know it's just personal opinion or whatever like that, but it's kind of nice having those in here. It just looks like there's something important going on. If it's just a completely empty room, it kind of looks boring. So some of these things in the mall that I can break down, I'm not just because I like the way it looks in there. What I don't necessarily want personally is to have a mall with a whole bunch of stores with nothing in them. I at least, you know, can loot them to pieces for certain, and I can take apart the things I need for pieces. But when it comes to how it looks... Yeah, I don't want just a big building full of small buildings. You know what I mean? You know, go ahead and take this apart. Yeah, got some nitrate from that. That is one of the nice things, too, about when I went outside in the last video, is you got all this stuff right here. You can take all this crap apart. You get nitrate. You get the uh, squishy bits that you need to be able to make uh, farm plots. And so there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do by beating bodies up here. Don't necessarily need the bones, but the nitrate's always good. The tallows is good, so you can make tallows. <laughs> what version of the game? It's animal fat now. So now you can use it to make candles, or you can make torches. If you get the other stuff here, so you can light up the area. Whoa, let's not go down there. Hey, go ahead and pick up some of those, since I don't really have to have them there at the moment. All right, not a whole lot we're going to do before we get... <laughs> Stop it. Before we get to the uh, next horde night or whatever, I do want to check to see. I do have some 7.62 and some more regular ammo here. I thought I did. Okay, so we do have some Molotovs. I want to take those with me for certain. Uh, let's see here. I do Dynamite is great, except for it does way too much damage. That's the main reason why I'm not taking that. It's just because I am inevitably going to kill myself or something terrible is going to happen. I am going to take... Hold on, let's sort this real quick here. Which one's the best one here? These are pretty much the same, except for this one can have more rounds. This one's got higher durability, but I want to take a shotgun just to have that as an extra, because I've got some shells on me. All right, let's dump a bunch of this crap off in here we don't need with us. Okay, we're good to go. All right, so I'm keeping the Lucky Looter with me in case... I wish I would have put those on there while I was actually looting earlier, but you know, in an effort to try not to have the wrong things in the wrong places... Let's see, do I have any more duct tape? I don't, but I've got some glue, and I've got some... Where, where'd my cloth go? There it is. Okay, so I think duct tape I can make. should probably make four more of those. doesn't take too long to get through those. I do have some more forged iron, so I can make some more um, 
repair kits. Where they go? Repair kits. Yeah, I want to make. I'm gonna make make four of those real quick, just so I can kind of top off a few of the things that I definitely use on a regular basis. You know, I want to make sure uh, Mr. Junkie here is nice and refreshed and good to go. And I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to have to reload this more than once, I guess. But that should give us enough ammo for the night. I really don't feel like we're going to need more than that. Let's see. We go ahead and get him repaired. Uh, let's see. From this, let's go ahead and start getting some junk turret ammo. I was going to use, like, half of what I had here. Uh, we'll do 600. Oh, okay. That's, I guess, the most I can do is 456. Never mind. I don't want to do that many. Hang on. What is... Is it 3 to 1? It is. Okay, so if I did 250, that'll end up using a little bit more than half. That'll bring me to almost 500 on the junk turret ammo. It's very low level. I don't have anything into it, so it's definitely going to... It's going to just be a normal shooting. It's not like the ones in the Lone Survivor where it's going to be just straight up beasting. Because uh, that's just freaking awesome for sure. But I think we're okay on this. Uh, let me see. I've got food. I've got water on me. I've got some bandages to stop the bleeding if all goes well. I know I have some aloe vera in here that, uh, I'm sorry, the aloe vera cream or whatever. It helps with the whole max health, which I need to go ahead and use that real quick. Kind of get that going back up since the max health is a little bit low. And I got a stack of this anyway. Might as well use a couple of them. Saves on having to make any of the good bandages. And I can use these just in case I start bleeding. All right. That's, uh, you know what? I'm going to do one more. Just for giggles, you know? Uh, let's see. I'm not going to worry about vitamins. First aid kit would definitely be good if things went terrible. I'll take this before the night starts. Oh, I need to put these back in here. I don't want to have all of this sitting around and accidentally need it. Is everything else repaired? Oh, we have... I don't know why. I've, I forgot I had a shotgun with me. Duh. Put that back over here. So this one is okay. I'm going to take those repair kits just in case. You never know. Especially, especially with me, anyway. All right, are we good over here? No, you need some more fuel. Uh, that should be good for now. I'm not. I'm don't want to use all of my iron as well to put in here because I'm going to need to make as much um, forged iron as possible for a lot of this stuff. Did I have anything going on in either one of these? No. Okay. All right. So we're not going to do too much more in this series here because the main thing I want to do is I want to make sure I survive the horde night, and that usually ends up taking a lot longer. So what I want to do is go over. I'm going to go over, hang out. we got a good little ways before the Horde Night starts, so I may try and do the um, go around the side over here this time. Let's just do that. Hold on, check. Sylvia, see if anybody respond over there. They like to respond in there quite often. All right, so this is reloaded. Okay, we already went... Yeah, we went down this path. Let's go down the other side real quick, and if anything spawned in over there, we can take them out. Again, I don't... Ugh, hang on. This little area over here was pretty hairy last time when we got down to how many zombies were over here. So I hope, I kind of hope not too much spawned over here. Also, something I need to check. Okay, so both of these do work. So there's, okay, there's some food in here. It's not huge. Okay, so this one doesn't work. This one does. Because we have some coinage at the house. But, um, I'm just making sure nothing spawned back in here. So if we need to, we can come down here and spend a little bit of it. Okay, so that's there, that's there. Just double checking again. Just to see what kind of fun stuff may or may have, have respawned over there. And I do know that by coming through here and messing with it that I'm resetting the spawn timer again. But it's okay. That's just one of those, it's going to happen. Walking around the mall, I'm definitely going to be within 15 blocks of a lot of the things that's in here. Eh, I'm okay with it. Is that me grunting? Kind of sounds like it either. Alright. So I can take the grenades... I don't think there's anything else in here I have to have for tonight. I think we should be good to go. A lot of this stuff I definitely need to get back to the house so I can drop into the forge. You got all this lead and brass that we can put in there. All this wonderful stuff's in there. So, all right. Well, hopefully you guys are okay with this concept. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to kind of just I'm going to get up here. I'm going to get everything settled for the horde night, and I'm just going to hang out. That's that's what I'm going to do. Um, so. Uh, we'll just uh, pick back up when the zombies show up. Come on, let me get it. No? Okay. And give me time to get everything settled. And that way we don't have just a whole bunch of filler stuff. Maybe. I might take this apart because getting some extra stone would be nice. And I can sit here and just beat on this for a while. And, uh, I mean, that's definitely going to take a while for sure. But anyway, we'll be back in just a little bit with the Horde Knight. Alrighty, there is the bell. The Day 14 Horde 
has begun. I uh, just have to hope somebody shows up now. I feel like the base is going to do pretty well for a standard size horde. Again, I have it on 32 zombies for Horde Knight. Didn't feel like bumping it up to 64 just yet. Kind of wanted to see how this would go. You know, it's a little bit different working inside a giant POI like this. I did turn the gamma up on the game just a little bit because it's flipping dark in here. I have no source of light other than just the lights that are light right here. But uh, yeah, even that, there's, there's not much light in here. So I'll turn the game up just a little bit. Okay. All right, so it's one of those things that I want to do. People wanted me to do it last time here. I'm going to go in. I'm going to turn on debug mode so I can detach the camera. Now, I'm not in God mode or anything. I'm just detaching the camera a little bit so I can go figure out where all these idiots are. Because obviously, they're not here right now. I am right there. Again, not in God mode. Just want to see where everybody's at. Once we figure out where they are, then we'll go back to where we need to be. Let's just see. Where is the horde at? Let's check real quick to see if they end up on this side of the mall. Last time we spent the entire Blood Moon Horde kind of hanging out. Okay, so they came in over on this side. There's not too many of them there, but at least they're trying. Hey, God, there's a door right down there. Why do y'all have to do everything the hard way? Mama, I don't know what you're doing over here. And y'all are... Look, you can go around this wall right over here. That's just... There you go. You figured it out. I wish there was a way I could help them. I mean, right at the moment, I can't do anything here. Y'all are just... Did y'all, y'all got the, those bottom ones almost there and then y'all can get in. What, what store will this bring you in here? Uh, y'all gonna bust into the cell and then have to beat through the stupid door here. What about y'all? If y'all do get in here, hang on, where are we? Are y'all beating into, you're beating into this store right here. My, uh, my old base, basically. That, that's okay, I guess. Alright, y'all can get in over here. So, we'll, uh. Boom, camera's back to there. Everybody's nice and happy now. We'll just kind of hang out for a little bit. We at least know that there's a few of them here. Not a huge number, but it's okay. So for the moment, we're just going to hang out, and we'll wait to see if anybody shows up. If by midnight nobody's made it up here, we'll go looking for them. So we'll just kind of hang out here for a bit and see what happens. Okay, I came looking for them here. A few of them managed to make it in. They beat in through this small hole in the wall over there. I get, they're trying to get in here. Here's the challenge. They're below me, and instead of trying to pathfind to get to me, they're, they're going to beat on this column here, which I don't think would cause any kind of collapse, and they're just having a jumping session right up here. I don't know what they're... They're not trying to come find me at all. So we, we're going to have to go... We're going to have to go around them up here. All right, turn the camera back on. All right, we'll pick you up real quick. Let's see. I'm going to put you in my inventory right... We'll get rid of the frame stuff right now. Okay. AK is ready to go. Man, that that's very disappointing. Very much disappointing. Do I... Did some of y'all spawn inside here? No? Okay. It sounded like some of them were coming up like inside the building here. For some reason, game audio is a little bit quieter than I normally keep it. Alright, so I think our ladder system is right over here. Wait, right over... Wait, where are we? Is it right over there? Right over here? No, it's right over here. We can... We could do this. Uh, Alright, this could work for a little bit if we need to. Just to kind of see if we can't lure them out over here. Hey, there we go. Hey, y'all, look, I'm over here. That way we can at least say we fought some zombies on the Horde Knight here. I may go ahead and bump it up, not obviously this particular video, but I may go ahead and try and bump it up to 64 zombies, just because, well, they're not really putting up that much of a fight. I say that as I, uh, I should probably do this real quick. Just to make sure nothing stupid happens. Uh-oh, like that. Oh, shoot. Okay. We got a little ways to run to get to our ladder system over there. But we can set a couple of them on fire. I don't know why we're running in what seems like slow motion right at the moment. If we can get them back to our base, that'd just be kind of great. Kind of follow the leader here. Come on. I mean, of course, I'm going to take shots at them. I'm not going to get them all the way back to the base before we worry about trying to kill some of them. But, you know. Y'all need to figure out how to get to me a little bit better. All right, y'all want to follow me up here? What the hell did... Oh, y'all did follow me up here. Okay. Oh, hell.
By the way, in case anybody's curious, no, I didn't do any of this on purpose. This isn't my attempt to try and end the series. None of that at all. I'm thirsty. I know I'm where I took a little bit of damage. I got to get up the ladder real fast. All right, y'all don't hit me. Uh, there we go. Okay. I don't think any of them can. Yeah, none of y'all can reach me over here. Ha ha, losers. Okay, all right. So we uh, let's go ahead and eat a little bit of this. Get some of the health going up. Not much, but a little bit. All right, we got some water with this. Go ahead and use that. Whew, okay. Ooh, that was a little bit hairy, but it's okay. This is kind of what we were looking for here is uh, some action here. I didn't want to sit in the base all night and do nothing. We're on the right level, but our base is way over there, so we got some work to do to get to it. So for the moment, I guess this is going to have to work. You know what? If we have to kind of utilize the fact that the zombies are stupid and can't get up one more block higher than what they're standing on, then so be it. Who cares? Yeah, this is going to work. I mean, I can kind of shoot them as they're coming up the ladder. They're kind of piling in over there for some reason. I mean, we got, got a decent number of kills with that Molotov in that one spot. Oh, Karen's made it up here. Sylvia's up here. Roger's up here. Karen don't want to go down. I need to see a manager. Hey, there's Big Mama. How are we doing on... Okay, we're doing okay on 762 ammo. I need to do less spray and pray and more... Uh, actually aiming and hitting something. Ooh, nice pirouette, big mama. You got some moves for a big girl. Nice, leveled up again. We're at level 18, so we still got a ways to go before we're going to be able to uh, get to the gyrocopter, but, you know, we're getting there. Okay, this is an alright size horde. Now, if I could get over to that base, I don't think any of them would still get up there with me. They would still run around underneath me. I may have to rethink the base. If we continue on and we don't die, we survive for day 21 horde, I may have to just move the base downstairs. You know, these uh, these idiots are not smart enough to make it up the escalator. It doesn't matter how clear I make it for them. They have no desire to try and do it the normal way. Roger, where'd you go? There you are. So y'all good over there? All right, we're going to use our last Molotov. That's a decent little grouping. Boom, baby! Now y'all all die. Okay, that grouping is dead. Uh, hold on, I see one Roger down there. Let's see if we can't get a little bit. I want to see what's in this bag before it despawn. Let me, just, just a little further. Let me have it here. I knew it. You fast little bastard. <laughs> Didn't get a whole lot in there. Did all right, is there anything else going on down here? Alright, I, I have to be a little bit more cautious on just bailing and jumping down there. Because, well, we saw what happened last time. I don't want to get hit again. We're a little bit low on the health. Of course, you know, these get your max health up just a little bit. But it doesn't raise your health. It doesn't give you any health. So I can get our max health back up. Uh, yeah, let's see. We can eat some more sham. That'll make our health go up just a little bit. Our junk turret, we didn't get to do any work at all because, well, we made a slight error in judgment. That may be all of it, though. We're at 2 a.m. now. That may be it. We're gonna. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to head back over here to the base, kind of look around as I'm going, see if I can't lure them out. If anybody's here, lead, lead them back out to the middle part. Because that worked out really, really well. All right, if we just do something not stupid. Did I it put my frame? It did. I put it right over there. So getting up from here is a challenge because these aren't full blocks, of course. So I guess we'll just hang out here for the moment and uh, see if anybody else shows up. But I'm going to believe that that's probably all of the horde. So we can go ahead and take our skill point. I don't... Wait, wait, wrong one. I don't think we can get down there yet. we got to get to end like level 6. So we can put this one in here. That'll take us up. We're going to need a little bit more. We're not even halfway to the next level, so... I was kind of hoping some more zombies would show up, because we need the XP. You know, I don't want to have to get XP just from scrapping crap, so... Because what we'll do is we'll just hang out for a little bit and see if anybody shows up. Alright, well, we made it to daylight. Uh, we didn't even get to utilize our cool base over there or anything. Um, shit, nothing happened. It, we kind of just chilled out here. Nobody else showed up. So, that wasn't too bad. I will... <laughs> It almost went pretty bad. We took some damage for sure, but that's only because we did something moderately stupid, depending on who you ask. 
so anyway that was that was at least a decent a decent horde here uh 64 would have been a little bit much with me falling down that could have been tragic could have been the end right there but yeah we are obviously going to have to do something a little different uh having our base on the second floor is not helping anything at all because they won't even try so i could try and utilize this spot in here somewhere uh, there's not a, a super easy way to get kind of like an, an elevated position. You see they busted out a hole right over there. What are you doing over here? Oh, we got a couple more that spawned in. You know what? Just because it's the end of the video, I'm not going to wake everybody in the house. Though. We're going to just tiptoe our way back home, recoup, figure out what we have and what we don't have, and pretty much... Oh, look, there's there's the rest of the horde right over there. You know what? Screw it. Put you right here. Do your thing, Junkie. Come on. Y'all come over here. Here. Y'all are not getting over here any quickly at all. Here, there. Let's do it. Alright, well we woke up the people in the store over there. So we'll work you work on them, I'll work on these guys over here. We got Big Mama showing up. All right, I guess that will conclude the uh, Horde Night. Not too bad. Junkie finally got to do some work there at the end. Uh, one final little Horde here. I guess they beat their way in through the, the mall jail cell here. Hey, there's Big Frank. There we go. That's a decent number of zombies for the very end. Not too bad. All right, so y'all beat this open for me. What What is that here? Is there anything... Anything good out here? Nope. Okay, so you didn't beat it in in a normal spot. All right, so that's going to be the end of it. Hopefully, you guys had a good time with this episode. This one was a lot more, uh, a lot more fun than the last horde for sure. Since the last one, not one single soul showed up. It was really sad. But anyway, we're just going to get back home in the video. If you did enjoy it, do me a favor and leave a like on the video. If you're new here and you're not already, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.